Hello and welcome in our YouTube channel Metallurgical Facts. So in this video, I will try to make you understand the concept of this plastic strain ratio. Okay, so this plastic strain ratio is very important, and this question was asked by one of the student on our Instagram page. Actually, I have a lot of questions pending for the solution, so I will take those questions one by one in our upcoming videos. So please try to send your questions. Uh, I will try to solve those questions one by one. Okay. So the question is the tensile test of sheet material exhibits 20% of elongation in length and 10% decreases in width. Okay, so the plastic strain ratio we need to find. So first of all, we will see what is this plastic strain ratio. So uh, what is the formula for plastic strain ratio? I will write here. So plastic strain ratio, plastic strain ratio is equals to ln of w naught by w f okay i will tell you one by one what is this w naught and what is this w f that of ln of t naught by t f okay so t naught is basically this naught is basically for initial value and this f is basically for final value okay so uh, suppose if i am writing this w naught means uh, initial width and uh, w f means final width okay and same similarly this t naught is uh, uh initial initial thickness and tf is final thickness okay so this is the formula which is used for finding this plastic strain ratio okay so here this in this question they are asking they are saying that 20 percent elongation is in length okay so l naught is if l naught i will i will tell you from the basic so how to calculate this lf so they are saying that 20 percent elongation means l naught multiplied by 20 by 100 means that will be 0 0.20 l naught so it this l naught will be increased here in this case okay so for lf so l naught plus 0.2 l naught so this will be basically 1.2 l naught okay so this is the value of l naught and this is the value of lf so this is the two values we 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 able to calculate it till now okay so the next thing is 10 percent decrease in width okay so how to calculate the decrease in width i will tell you so w naught suppose w naught is w naught okay so what will be the final w f so here in this in this question they are they are asking that this w f is basically uh, 10 10 percent decrease in the width okay so w naught minus 10% means 0.10 w naught that is similar to this how to find this in books you will find directly 1.20 l naught you can also do do that if you are good at aptitude okay if you do not if you are not good at aptitude you can do like that okay so wf is equals to w naught minus 0.10 w naught that will be 0 0.90 w naught okay so w initial initial width is w naught and final uh, width is 0 0.90 w naught okay so but here in this question they are they are asking to calculate plastic strain ratio that is basically the ratio of ln of w naught by wf and ln of t naught by tf where t is thickness so how to calculate this thickness because we know this length we know this width but we don't know the thickness so this is all the plastic deformation process means v initial will be equals to v final okay so uh, in this case how we can how we can uh, approach this question like that suppose if we will uh, able to calculate this v initial and v final so we will equate those things and we will we will find these values so what is the initial value we can say v naught okay so this v naught will be equals to t naught that is thickness multiplied by length multiplied by width okay and this v final is tf that is thickness final final thickness lf that is final length multiplied by final uh, width okay so from here we will able to calculate this t naught by tf because this is t naught and this is t tf so t naught by tf is equals to tf is equals to this is t and this is f that is for final so t naught by tf is equals to lf by l naught multiplied by wf by w naught okay so this is the thing we calculated by our theoretical knowledge this is plastic deformation process that's why we uh, equate those both volume that is final volume and initial volume okay so from here 
we will we will try to put these values in plastic strain ratio formula and this is basically represented by r so we will take it as r is equals to ln of w naught by wf this is the similar because we know the value of w naught by wf but we don't know the value of t naught by tf but we know now we know this t naught by tf is equals to lf by l naught multiplied by wf by w naught so we will put this ln is equals to lf by l naught multiplied by wf by w naught and from here we know this wf and we know this lf l naught so we can calculate the ratio okay so how we can calculate this w naught by wf so w naught by wf will be equals to this w naught minus 0 0.0 w naught so w naught by wf will be equals to 1 by this uh, sorry w naught by wf will be equals to 1 by 0 0.90 okay or vice versa we can take wf by w naught is equals to 0 0.09 okay same for this case what we can do uh, we can calculate lf by l naught or or L naught by L F also. So L F by L naught will be equals to 0 0.1.20. Okay. So from here we will put these values here. Okay. And we will try to solve this question. So once we will you will do the practice, you need not to do these things again and again. Okay. So just for making you understand, I am doing like this. Okay. So this R will be equals to L N of W naught by W F is equals to 1.090 similarly this ln will be lf by l0 value is 1.20 and this wf by w0 is equals to 0 0.90 okay so this wr so now this r value will be equals to 0 0.104 by 0 0.076 okay so from here we will try to calculate this ratio that is 1.368 so this is the value of this r this r is basically plastic strain ratio okay so uh, here the options are 2.37 1.37 1.17 0 0.87 so this is 1.368 means 1.37 approximate so b option is correct for this question this question is very easy but i will i i told you step by step so that you can understand it easily so what what we do what we did for this question this is the this is the formula which is used for calculation of this question okay for calculation of plain plastic strain ratio but in this in this formula we did not know about this t naught by tf so that's why we uh, equate this volume v, v, v initial equals to v final and then then we find the ratio of t naught by tf by lf by l naught wf by w naught and then we calculated this w naught by wf ratio by here from here and this lf by l naught ratio from here okay so you can do also wf by w naught here wf by w naught here there is no problem okay so don't think that only you, you can do w, lf by l naught or l uh, or w naught by wf you can do as per your convenience okay so the answer is 1.368 okay so b part is correct for this question i hope you understood this question thank you guys for your attention hope you have understood this question and hope you have uh, learned something new in this video we'll come with more questions in our upcoming videos please try to put your problems on our instagram page we will come we will solve those questions one by one thank you